Children's Book presents Lethia, the Magic Butterfly Chapter 1 Art Far, far into deep space, twelve of the biggest stars suddenly lined up together, forming a huge black hole. A mysterious new planet named Ark appeared pulling in all the asteroids floating around. These asteroids formed two butterfly rings around the planet, giving the planet two amazing powers, love and faith. At the beginning, only butterflies live in Ark. But with time, they changed into human-like creatures. One day, the Prince Lamed asked his father, the king, Father, why do I have this locket dangling from my neck? The king even replied, My son, it is called the flower of life. The water from Ark's ocean has feelings, and the flower of life will protect it from hate. Shh, I hear a noise, Lamed. Please remember, this secret must remain between us. Little did they know that a spooky spider was peeping in from behind the lamp that Lamed and his father sat beneath and had been listening in on their whole conversation. Hydrus the spider ran as fast as he could to tell his friend Dulles about the secret. Dulles was the king's brother. He was very jealous because he wanted to be the king. Thinking about this surprising secret, Dulles exclaimed, Hmm, I shall give my nephew Lamed a birthday present he will never forget. Chapter 2 The Great Tragedy At last, Lamed's long awaited birthday had arrived. King Eamon, Queen Laura, and the royal workers were preparing a surprise party. That morning, Lamed's best friend, Tuffler, woke him up. Pal, get up! And guess what? There's a huge gift waiting for you outside. Immediately, Lamed ran outside and without missing a beat, quickly tore off the wrapping paper. My dear nephew, I hope you like the special present I made just for you. It's a machine that creates bubbles and when they pop, they create some one-of-a-kind fireworks. I'm sure you will love them, Della said slyly. It was a magical day, full of smiles and hugs. Soon, the music began to play, and everyone started to dance around the main fountain, the Merkabal Fountain. Suddenly, the pleasant sound of falling water from the fountain stopped, and seconds later, they noticed that the ocean named the Ray of Light had dried up and disappeared. The fireworks created by the bubbles were actually thirsty creatures that completely swallowed up the water from the ocean. When the water disappeared, all the inhabitants fell on the floor into a deep sleep. All except Lamed, because he was protected by the locket, the flower of life. Feeling lonely, Lamed sat underneath the fountain and cried his eyes out. Suddenly, looking at the fountain, he focused on a hole, which had the same shape of his locket. Feeling hopeful, he clutched the locket and reached out to place it in the hole. Suddenly, the six pyramids around the fountain began to shoot out multicolored rays. It was a spectacular light show. The fountain began to rise, and underneath appeared a pink, misty veil. Lamed approached the veil until he heard an angelic voice. Don't cry. You have what it takes. Faith. Now use it with this flower to bring the water back to Ark. But how? replied Lamed. Just believe in yourself, answered the voice. At that very moment, the veil opened and a dazzling bright flower appeared in front of him.
Chapter 3 The Magic Caves of Suvat Lamed grabbed the flower carefully and began to walk across the bottom of the dried up ocean. Surprisingly, he met Master Ashba, a wise octopus. Happy to have found him, Lamed asked Master Ashba where he could find water so that the flower of life wouldn't die. Master Ashba responded, Lamed, look at the three mountains behind you. Those are the magic caves of Suvat, which is the only place I know where miracles can happen. Immediately, Lamed ran into the caves. But soon, the surroundings became darker and darker, so Lamed could not see anything. He was scared. At that moment, he remembered what the voice told him. Have faith. Gaining confidence back, he began to speak aloud from the bottom of his heart. I wish to save planet Earth. I want to save planet Earth. And I will save planet Earth. Suddenly, two purple flashes of light that came shining out of his locket began moving in circles in a forward direction as if trying to show him something. Lamed followed the lights until they stopped on both sides of an enormous algae. With curiosity, Lamed climbed the algae with the flower in his hands all the way to the top. There, he noticed the icicle above was damp, so he placed the flower carefully underneath, hoping for a miracle. To Lamed's surprise, a small drop of water fell from the tip of the icicle, making the flower turn upside down and grow into the size of a castle. The when the flower reached its biggest size, a strong pink light was shot up into the sky like something important was about to happen. Lamed was surprised when he found himself inside the enormous castle made out of thousands of petals with a flowery smell. At the top of the algae appeared some sort of cocoon, and the lamp above released hundreds of round balls floating downwards in a swirling spiral. It looks like a tornado. As the balls bumped into each other, delicate and colorful butterflies flew out of them. Each butterfly had a letter on its back and they started to line up forming words, each in different colors, beginning with understanding, tolerance, respect, forgiveness, humility, and kindness. When the butterflies flied over the cocoon, it began to open and a beautiful butterfly girl came out of the cocoon. It's the magic butterfly. She stood up, and in a firm voice, she stated, Doubt sees the obstacles, faith sees the way. Love and faith united, coming to save the day. As soon as she had spoken, Glittering water popped up from the ground, filling up Ark's ocean once again. Chapter 4 The Unexpected